Yeah. That was too short of a riff. Gotta do it longer, dude. <laughs> do it longer. No, it was like two seconds. A big riff here. A big riff, dude. Big riff, go. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Come on, dude. What are you doing? We'll bleep that. We'll bleep uh, that. Uh, <laughs> we'll bleep that. Okay. Woo. Boys, big time. Big times ahead here. You know, we've been talking. There's been a lot of talk. We've been very busy for a number of months. You guys have been hounding us over a couple of projects, rightfully so. Not mad about it. There's things that have not been touched in a long time, which is a real tragedy. The two-stroke machine Oof. it's just been sitting, hasn't been touched in months. In fact, I've been sabotaged. Leo stole parts off of it. It's even further behind than what it was. Yeah, still. I took the knuckle, sorry. <laughs> the last time you saw it. Nick Mega, we've had stacks of parts for this thing. The coolest parts, it's just stacks of parts sitting around forever. So he said, okay, how do we get these projects done? We gotta get this stuff ripping and leave it to Rick to come up with maybe the best idea we've ever had in terms of motivating the team here to wow. knock this stuff out quickly. So wow. It's pretty simple. You take two projects that are pretty big and you say, hey, who can get them done faster? Me and Matt, Turbo and McMega, with this big dog. So, what was that, 78? DS Racing, 78, 75. Big dog. He's super nice. Livernoy Motorsport, CNC ported head. Big dog, Livernoy cam. Dude, enough Holly stuff to kill someone. Holly Terminator <laughs> X EFI. Can we get that done before Doug gets the two stroke X3 done? Who's gonna make it to McDonald's drive through first <laughs> in their vehicle? Me and Matthew, or Douglas. So it's a challenge. No better way to motivate somebody than with a challenge. So I'm super excited. I'm excited to see both these projects get rolling. And uh, yeah, so of course, you know, if you're gonna have a challenge, there's gotta be a reward slash punishment. So there, at this point, we have a punishment uh, <laughs> locked in. I don't wanna say what it is yet, but uh, for whoever slacks and uh, doesn't finish their project first, gonna let's visit that later, but we're highly motivated to get these things done now. Yep. You know, with a little asterisk that we're not gonna do them poorly just in the name of getting them out the door before the other person. So we've got a handshake agreement essentially that we're not gonna super cobble these things just to get them done so we can say we won the challenge. We're gonna do them right. Smart. So, so we're putting three days aside, three eight hour days. Yeah, will that be enough? I don't know. This is a big project here. Obviously, you know, this thing also not a stock truck, right? These guys are going to run into issues that you wouldn't run into if you were just turboing a normal stockish street truck. I've already seen a couple of those issues. I don't know if they have plans to overcome them all or not, but they're gonna run into some roadblocks. The old two stroker over here, you know, same deal. Like there's a plan, but there's a lot of little things at the end that gotta come together with the wiring, the throttle, the fuel system. There's a lot of custom little pieces that have to be made to actually make it function. So I honestly don't know who's gonna who's gonna win here. It's uh it's gonna be interesting. Gonna <laughs> yeah, be interesting. I have no clue. So get some stake in the game. Uh I'm on team Doug. Okay. okay. So put some stake in the game. We gotta be on a team. So if um you lose, I take the punishment with you. And if you guys lose, Nick takes the punishment with you. Oh, okay. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I'm putting a lot of thought into this. My confidence level is not super high that I could beat these guys. It's uh, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here, dude. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> and it's very possible we could both get FF'd by lack of parts. Like, I think I've got a pretty good pile here. Yep. But you always run into situations where there's some... Mickey Mouse small thing that can set you back a super long time. An yeah, oil so, line or a gasket or something. Yeah, that could uh, that could take both of us down. Yeah, never know. Yeah, I'm missing some parts as well, and I'm working on it. But uh, I don't, you know, in terms of like the next day or two, I don't have a clear path to the light just yet. But uh, you know, we'll figure it out. We're gonna get this thing together. So I guess let's just go over the rules here quickly okay, okay so there's rules there, there there's just, there's a couple <clears throat> there's a couple rules okay like one is basically that we're going to work on these things in a preset amount of time while yep. we can both be working on our individual projects so nobody's going to be in here pulling all-nighters like that sounds fun and it's cool but Not i could fair. just throw the whole thing out of whack so we're talking eight hour work days 
we're gonna have a timer. Matt's got it set up. When the timer starts, we start working. When it's done, we're done for the day. So I think that's pretty much the only rule that I'm really concerned <laughs> with, other than the just don't cobble your crap. Just make it, you know, when it leaves the door and goes to McDonald's for the win, it's also got to be able to be ripped around a little bit. It's got to work. Okay, that adds up. I like that. Rules. These are both vehicles that we're all going to get to enjoy. So it's not something we just want to piece together for pride. We all want to be able to rip them and okay. not have to go and redo everything. Didn't have time up until this point to do it in the first place. Don't have time to redo it. So. Okay, boys, we got the timer up. This is real, uh, like, monster garage style. So, Rick, set them off, buddy. All right. Good luck, dudes. Good luck. All right, Doug, we'll start off with you first. What's the first thing you're going to try to tackle here? Just right because now? it bothers me mentally, not that I need to do it right now, but it bothers me, so I'm just going to get the hub and this wheel back on so the thing is sitting straight and it's a rolling chassis again. So I'm going to knock that out quick, and then I'm going to get the engine over here, get it aligned, and start building motor mounts. That's the big <laughs> oh, dog. Oh, and man. then after I get the engine in, it'll be easier to split off and do a couple different tasks because although right now it may seem that I'm a one-man team, what? <laughs> that's not going to be the case all day. So. so that's the deal. We're going. The timing for Steve coming in was impeccable. <laughs> all right, what are you guys working on first? I got the battery disconnected. I'm just going to start tearing stuff off the front end. So the radiator is going to have to come out to get the cam out of this thing. So probably going to start working. I'm getting the shroud and stuff off. And then the top end of the engine, probably. And uh, yeah, just go from there. Start wow. doing what makes sense. All right, guys, it has officially been 10 minutes. We already have cooling on the ground. A nice blog pan dropped off some pig mats. So we're going to use those to hopefully get some of that stuff and Doug's already getting the knuckle in 10 minutes not bad yeah, you know we took a few minutes so Steve's here now and kind of just had a quick little uh, planning meeting to get our heads right and uh, just, I want to say slow but kind of just slow and steady you know, not work too frantically just diligently knock this stuff out so we're getting rolling now right? Matt where are you at so far no oh, we're just working on getting the fan shroud off because this one actually has one <laughs> and uh, so we can get the radiator out and swap the can and all that stuff see flames what's going on buddy uh, we got a bolt on this header that uh, wants to play games and we ain't got time for games so she's going away
marks. I see Doug getting the hat on backwards. I know it's time. We're about to start packing some pieces in. So, you know, uh, I don't want to say a little bit of a sacrifice, but uh, we got to build motor mounts. We got to build motor mounts with what we have right here on hand. If I had weeks to do this project, probably not how I would do it. But we got a plan that's going to work. It's not going to be the most, you know, pretty thing you've ever seen. But basically what we're going to do is we're just going to build a frame over top of the transmission. The engine's going to sit pretty far rearward to give us lots of room for pipes up yep. front because we're not going to build custom pipes. So the engine's got to stay back. So we're basically going to build a frame over top of the transaxle that welds to this existing mount and then we'll bolt into the mounts here and we'll bolt into the mount here. Okay. It'll give us a flat surface to drop the engine on that's you know basically at the right height and then from there what we'll use is slots or enlarged holes so we can move the engine around a little bit really tweak in the clutch alignment and then lock it down so sweet like i say not you know not the prettiest thing in the world but uh it's gonna work well i think so i'm gonna start by packing these two pieces in get them kind of held in place then i'll start building my front mounts to get everything solid we'll put in a couple cross members and then the engine will be able to sit down going into the pile for the new parts. What are you getting? I'm uh, pulling out these head studs that we got from our friends at Livernoy. Okay. So I get these things ready. Oh, lunch is here, buddy. Lunch is here. What do we get? I told you what we got. What's that? Our boys at McDonald's hooked us up, dude. We're finally sponsored by McDonald's. Did you even know that? No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, they allow us to buy things at full price. Wow, those guys are tight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's nice good. Guys. Three hours in. What do you feel in the body? 100% <clears throat> nutritious meal. What do you think happened? What's going on? I think we've been sabotaged here with this food. I feel myself slowing down, but we're gonna get back into it. It's like filling up a truck with fuel. It does go a little bit slower, but it gets you further. Right, right. Think about it. <laughs> Great analogy. Wow. Yeah, that was brilliant. That adds up. Uh, so where are you at with this thing? Uh, Can do X2. Overall, feeling pretty good about it, man. Solid plan for the motor mount. I think uh, probably in the next hour, I can have the engine bolted in the machine, which is a huge, huge step. Overall, I feel like we're cooking along pretty well here. Okay, Matt, what's going on with the uh, McMega, dude? Well, we're cleaning up the block, getting ready to put the new heads on, but we but. ran into a bit of an issue. <laughs> oh, no. What's the issue, Rick? First FF of the project. <clears throat> I got the wrong head studs, so. Dang it. Ones we got are for a 2003 and earlier block, which gives you uh, three different length head studs instead of the two that this one has being an 04. So I put a feeler out there to see if anyone local might have a set of head studs that we could get so we don't get uh, too far behind on this. We do need to drill out the oil pan for uh, fitting 
uh, for the turbo oil drain, so can probably start working on that. And you can put the cam back in. The lifters. A couple other Mickey Mouse things, but okay. if we can't get head studs today, we're in trouble. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, oh, big step here, brother. Yeah, we're getting there, man. So, gotta set on there close to where it's gonna go. I'm gonna double check my center to center, figure out exactly where we gotta be. Basically, four aft in the machine. And then I can put in my cross support, which is where the engine will bolt in. And then uh, we'll set it up on there. Double check the clutch offset, pop some holes, and I got some gusseting and whatnot to do with some full welding, but. We're getting there. It's looking pretty good. It looks pretty level, so as long as this comes out slow. Let's see, please. We got some flexibility here, so. Hey, not bad. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good. Not bad at all. Well, I see some stuff here, Steve. What the hell am I looking at there? Well, I'm getting ready to mount the old freaking snowmobile tack. <laughs> I just wanted to throw a steering wheel on it so I could get this kind of, you know, in the right spot. It's coming together nicely here, Doug. Yeah, not too bad, man. Not too bad. I know it doesn't look like a lot yet, but I mean, this thing working well, like this is a big key. Like the engine has to be in the right place. We have to be able to get it solid and we have to have the clutches aligned correctly or the whole thing is going to be for nothing. So taking a lot of time to try to make sure that's the case and I think we're in good shape but just gotta finish this up so we can see some big progress here. I like that, I like that and Steve's working on gauge mounting so we not only have a tachometer we also have a temperature gauge that uh, looks like Steve's getting pretty crazy over here working on. I'm just gonna pop a couple holes in this thing and bend the bottom of it and just mount it. Beautiful. Just some little stock gauges there. <laughs> Should be good that. to go. Won't be super fancy, but it'll work. Yeah, sweet. That's all you need. You need RPM for tuning this thing, and you need to make sure it's not overheating and grenading instantly. So the rest of it, we don't really care about. Yeah, no big deal. Oh man, big step here, Rick. What do you think, bud? Uh, yeah, we're just drilling the oil pan for the turbo drain. So have this fitting here. It's a half inch pipe thread. So just kind of drill it out to, I think it was 23, 30 seconds. Big dog drill bit, and then tap it, and this should go right in. Why not using one of those uh, dash 10 fittings, but we didn't have one of those. This is what came with the kit, so this will do just fine, though. She'll work. Smoothing the heck out of it, bud. Yeah, that surface has got to be all flat for the engine to set on, so at this point, I need one more tab off of uh, this side, just a short one, and then some holes. Finish well with a couple gussets. We're getting there. We're getting there. Beautiful. Maybe not beautiful, but <laughs> functional. <laughs> <laughs> Had not heard from you in a while, Matt. What's uh, what's going on here, buddy? Well, Rick put the cam in. Okay. And uh, I'm just tightening down the camshaft retainer plate that these have. Okay. And then after that, put sprocket, chain, oil pump, timing cover. Dang. Going back together. Making progress. So, any uh, progress on these head studs? Uh, I haven't checked my phone recently. That's the fitting that goes into the oil. Pan. It's looking pretty good. Okay, sweet. That's all drilled in there. Oh, yeah, that sucker's looking pro, dude. A little bit of Teflon tape, you'll be perfect. Oh, yeah, that'll thread in like that. I'm gonna have my friends over at uh, Leo Fab do some clean work on this thing. Those are real straight shooters over there. Get this thing all freaking uh, unchipitized, uh, ready to go back on. Should be good. Oh boys, we are approaching three hours remaining. Rick, where are you at right now? Uh, timing sets on, timing covers ready to go on. Uh, you just did a great job cleaning up that oil pan. That's almost ready to go on. Just gonna give that a quick uh, dry job and then that can go on. Uh, found a set of uh, head studs, those are 40 minutes away. That will be an after hours deal, unfortunately. So. What do you mean after hours deal? I'm driving to go get them after hours. I don't think you can do it. We're going to talk to Doug about that. I'm not sure How that's part that of the possible? Rules. Just leave at five. How is that possible? Why does that matter? Obtaining parts? You can't go obtain yeah. parts? I can't leave the place to go get parts? Talk to Doug, sense. dude. Talk to Doug. All right, Doug. You overheard what happened there. I didn't, actually. I was in the zone. Very focused. Well, you're out of the zone now. Listen, Rick's got to go after hours to get parts. 
Okay. What's the ruling? He could leave at five and go get him once the extra time. Listen, yeah, I could be I could be difficult here, but bottom line is I'm probably gonna have to go get some parts at some point too, so I'm good with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with it. I wanna see these I don't wanna hold these projects up. So I'm good. All right. I'm good. It's All good right. parts. Keep it, keep it. I'm on Team Butterfield. So. <laughs> uh, where are you at, buddy? Whoa, look at this. Yeah, man, we're uh, basically engine sitting up there. Um, all I got to do is get my clutch alignment, like very, very close, and then uh, pop some holes, and the engine can be bolted in place. So at this point, the engine mount is all finished outside of, you know, maybe some grinding and painting at some point down the road, but she's all structurally done, so. I had to do a little clearance here for the clutch, which I was expecting. So yeah, we're just gonna get this bad boy aligned as good as we can, mark some holes, drill four holes, motor will be bolted in. I feel like this is the show 24 with Kiefer Sutherland, dude. Kiefer, how do you say that, Kiefer? Yeah. Kiefer Sutherland, mm -hmm. Kiefer? Oh, I'm kicking stuff, dude. Oh no, that's gone. Anyway, uh, Matt, what are you working on? Two hours well, left this, today. Uh, throttle body's pretty Gross. So yeah, that thing's needs junk. To be cleaned. Gonna get the intake all prepped to put on, even though we can't put the heads on yet today. Uh, but got the oil pan on, timing cover on, new lifters are in, cams in. Dang. So, other than the head studs, it's ready for heads to be put on. Man, too bad you don't have those studs. Those, those could go on today, It'd be a lot easier. I gotta get this gum out of my mouth. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm choked over my own tongue. Anyway, Doug, what are you doing? Uh, just eating the chicken nugget, man. I'm ordering some parts, so uh, we're doing pretty good over here. We got the engine mount uh, all basically finished and all welded up, and the engine is uh, sitting in place right now with the correct clutch alignment. And so is it bolted or sitting? It's uh, loosely bolted. It's not tightened up yet, but sweet. she's there. That's where she's going to go, so I feel good about that. Uh, looking ahead to the couple of pieces that we're definitely going to need here basically in the next uh, day, so I was just putting in some quick orders. We've been struggling with a custom throttle cable set up for this, so uh, came up with a different solution. Um, got that coming, so that'll be here tomorrow. Steve's working on finishing up the gauge mounts, and you know, with the next couple hours, I'm probably gonna move on, maybe start mounting the fuel pump, um, doing little stuff like that, and then, uh, or maybe I'll set up and start cutting the head so we can finish getting the engine together. But that'd be really cool to see you today. Overall, feeling uh, feeling good about it. So well, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick, what are you thinking, bud? Uh, I'm trying to make up a uh, block off plate for this uh, crossover pipe. Yeah, so. I thought I was doing that. Uh, you're holding the camera. I'd like you to do it though. I mean, I got this. Do that. The gum really transformed when I grabbed it out of my mouth. Just I should have swallowed it. Just use that. Yeah, put that in and grab it for me. <laughs> Bad deal. Let me get it back. Let me get it back. Yeah, please. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'll do that. All right, appreciate you. So block off plate for the crossover because this is an eBay turbo kit, eBay hot side, cold side. They put the uh, wastegate in the crossover. Real bad spot for that. Not good. Getting rid of that. The, uh, the wastegate needs to end up in the turbine housing on the turbo. So we have to have a uh, collaborative effort or uh, conversation, me and Doug, figure out what we're going to do about that. Because that's the right maneuver. That's going to give us maximum boost control. Uh, we pretty much need to drill a hole in the turbine housing to accept a pipe that can be welded in there, and then a flange can be welded on that. That will go to the, or uh, that will allow the wastegate to be uh, clamped to that. Dang. So we need to talk about that, figure out what we're going to do, and uh, yeah, just try and wrap up some small stuff that we got over here. So when we get the uh, head studs tomorrow, hopefully, uh, we'll be ready to get the motor back together. Well, dang. All right. I guess we got an hour 56 to go. We'll check up with you guys when it's time to shut this down. Okay, okay, okay. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Everybody's doing good, I think. Big projects, but a lot of progress being made. Hour 35 remaining. <laughs> it just rolls in. What's that in. timer going on? The timer is uh, how long they have left in the day today wow. to work. So let's go take a look at what's going on. First, we'll go over to the Doug machine. Doug's got some backup, huh? Doug's He's got freaking Steve, dude, the master of disaster. What's up, buddy? Hey, guys. What's going on? It's <laughs> awfully quiet. <laughs> Thinking hard, man. Look at that whoa, sucker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's fully in, bud. 
this point is basically. Uh, my first time seeing this, what do you think? <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> She's tore down, dude. We weren't messing around today, huh? No, boys are going hard, so I think they're in reassembly mode. We found out that we don't have the right head studs. We've really? been there before, so we know what that's like. That's unfortunate. Super unfortunate. What studs do we have? Uh, one's for 03 and under. This is an 04. So a little different. Man, a lot of stuff happening here. <laughs> a lot of stuff happening, especially in the first, what, five and a half hours, six and a half hours? You guys are killing it. Sucker's torn apart. Yeah. Yeah, heads, cylinder heads, laying, meeting, side down, turbo kits that I still need to make a block off plate for. Have I got a job for you, dude? You're gonna really like this one. Does that have to do with painting? Uh, it has to do with a block off plate. Okay. Hey, what are you up to? What was that, good news? Good news, so uh... Wait, what the... Yeah, Motion Raceworks, they got a dial, brother. They know what I like. <laughs> Candy. Straight up. Uh, so yeah, that was AutoZone. So we broke a uh, plastic fitting on one of the coolant hoses earlier. They got one in stock. Bay City AutoZone, 2161. Good, good dudes over there. 667 uh, dude. Good number. 671923. 1923? Yeah. I thought it was 43. Oh, okay. My bad. Anyway. Oh my god, another doubles, one? Doubles, dude. I'll take one of them. Yeah, yeah, don't call those guys. What kind is that? Uh, this is a uh, orange. Mystery. You want mystery or you want orange? Okay. Motion. This is a really nice kit. So what this is, is a four corner steam port setup. Well, so you need that. These, uh, these heads on uh, these LS applications, they have steam ports on each corner of the head. So there's four total. And from the factory, on this particular application, it's blocked off in the rear. Mm. So you only have the front steam ports that allow steam to come off the top of the head. Helps get rid of air, stuff like that. So what can happen if you don't run a setup like this? My ears, dude. Anyway, you don't run a setup like this. The seven and eight cylinders can get really hot under boost, yep. and uh, you can lift the head. So you run a setup like this and good studs, uh, you're not going to have a problem with that unless you're running a ton of boost. So this is going to work really good for us. This is really clean. These fittings are super nice. Uh, I've dreamed about using one of these kits. Had a Camaro that I put a six liter in a turbo and lifted ahead. Didn't have this. If I would have had this, I might have still had that car. Dream no more, bro. Lifted the head, sold the car, parted it out. Tough break is what yeah, it is. Bad deal. Um, but yeah, I can't really do anything with this because we don't have the right head studs. I'm just taking an in inventory of uh, what all we have and I'm trying to formulate a plan for tomorrow how we're going to attack this thing. So, MB's over there hammering some stuff. Hey, let's go Where's check in, the, uh... see what he's doing. Well, where's the thing for Nick? I was gonna have him cut out the flange. Oh, he's over there. He's cutting. Is he already doing he's it? Cutting. Good job. Also, you guys see this shirt? We got some of these shirts left. Go buy them. Side by side blog parts .com forward slash merch. Good shirts. Real Check them out. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh my gosh! We are down to the final three minutes. Three minutes. Doug has gotten really far. It's Doug, hard to tell yeah. with this truck because it's so high. What's True. going on in the engine bay? I'll tell you what's going on up there. Not a bunch. <clears throat> but there's a bunch of stuff everywhere else. Look at Richard, dude. He's just hand building that turbine. Dude, right here. You're just porting the turbine exducer right now, dude. Yeah, porting housings and stuff. What's I'm going like, on over here? Yeah, we've been at a standstill kind of for, uh, for that engine. We haven't had the right head stud, so just kind of figuring out how some things are gonna go. Uh, this turbo isn't designed for, you know, this eBay kit. So we're gonna have to make some changes to the cold side to uh, get everything fit and finished right. So just kind of mocking that up mentally, seeing what we're gonna have to do. Dang. That's about it, got our oil drain in. Just looking at stuff, getting it clocked, getting a rough idea of how it's gonna be sitting in there. Dang. Thinking. Well, Doug's gotten pretty far too, I would say. So we've got the primary and secondary on. I don't know if it's torqued yet, but turn that secondary, show them, dude. Yeah, clutches are uh, actually torqued on. Pretty happy with the alignment. Everything spins nice and freely. Yeah, alignment looks great. So we're working on engine assembly. We got uh, V-Force reeds for it, nice fresh reeds. So those are in new intake boots, a boost bottle, coils all bolted on. I'm working on putting the power valves on right now. Steve has got uh, fuel pump mounted, so we're reusing the stock fuel pump out of the snowmobile. Vacuum pump, so we've got that nice and low, so the gravity feeds from the stock tank. 
and then we'll pump up to the carburetors and he's, sweet uh, yeah just starting to look into wiring right now i put this off as long as i could <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after two jp i think you guys probably still have ptsd from wiring the only thing worse than wiring is wiring that's from a 20 year old greasy snowmobile it's yeah. all covered in grease that's a good point so yeah we are down to the final one minute matthew baba what are you doing where is mb he's over here dude MB. Yeah, right here. What are you doing? Uh, just prepping the intake to get back on. You okay. Know, trying to do little odds and ends that are going to need to be done eventually. Right. And then when our studs show up, we can just slap it all back together. So those are maybe yeah. showing up tonight. Maybe Rick's going to get them. We don't really know yet. But we've got some eBay cheapos coming tomorrow for sure mm -hmm. to get you guys back on the road. And man, I think we're deadly close here. Deadly close. Oh my gosh, 35 seconds. The first eight hour day, I'm really impressed. Yeah, that's with pretty impressive. What's come together? Yeah, they did it quite a bit. Like that, really. I mean, I didn't imagine it like that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, what's I the mean, underhood look like on this thing? We gotta really see this. Yeah, hurry up and find, dude. Yeah, we, yeah. I can still film after, you know, but anyway. Yeah, it's. Uh, oh my gosh, it's still, yeah. Mm, adds up considering there's no heads on it. It's cleaned up though. All right, dude, here we go. Look at that thing's like hyped up. Boom, Three, boom, two, boom, one. Boom. Honk it, dude. All right, stop down. Tools down, dude. Get that out of here, dude. I didn't get the last power out of that. All right, all right. Stop it, stop it. Oh, yeah. Did they stop? No, let me try. Stop that, tools. All right. Wow, first day. Woo. A lot of progress. A lot of progress. My uh, confidence has increased a lot Good. now having the engine in that machine and uh, having like 95% of a solution for the remaining items that we weren't sure how we were going to do. So feeling really good about the two-stroke X3. Heck yeah, man. So, geez, yeah, we had a little talk before uh, we decided to start filming here. And do we continue the build, build, build off, build, build, the build, build off, the buildy, buildy? on the main channel or do we get to the garage channel and split them i don't know what do you yeah, think we were going to cover the rest of the mcmega build in the garage cover the rest of the two stroke on the main channel but that sort of changes you yeah, know what we does. did here today did you guys enjoy what we did here today do you want to see more of it i would say i enjoyed it i enjoyed it tremendously as well problem time. problem about this is i have to edit this tomorrow and then you'll also be working it tomorrow so that Decision of the people doesn't really matter. Decision's cause... already been made. Sorry, guys. We're not trying to cut you out of the loop. This is just timing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, What's the decision? I, I am leaning more towards putting it all on one channel. I do like keeping it together. I feel like that's real fun. Maybe towards the end, we do a real nice wrap-up on the Garage Channel with McMega. I mean, yeah, that's going to remain on the Garage Channel anyway. Plus, there's more build coming for McMega after this turbo and engine stuff is done, so. Yeah. Anyways, you're going to see content here or there or in both places, but uh, yeah, wow, awesome time. You guys, super impressed with how much work was done on McMega today. It's a big dog project. They had to go deep into the engine, like had that sucker full torn apart. Yeah. Would have had the engine back together if it weren't for the head studs. I've been just looking around at the number of parts that have been slung and cleaned and reassembled. Pretty incredible. A lot of, lot of work going on there. It's a lot. What do you think about Doug's progress, Rick? Where does it make you feel? Uh, Where are you at? I'm happy to see that it's come this far. Like, uh, I don't know. That sucker could be running sooner than I thought. I'm just, ha I'm just like Doug. I'm just happy to see it come together. That's a fact. That's all I care about. These things come together, dude. We're all gonna rip them. We're all gonna have a good time. Someone's probably breaking into my house. It's not Nick Seuss, which is kind of surprising. Right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the proof's in the pudding. Uh, Maybe one of his cronies, dude. Think about it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, good time today. A lot of, a lot of work got done. It went by very fast. Like that yeah. eight hours disappeared. No time. Seriously. Could have been the McDonald's that we consumed twice today. Uh, <laughs> some sort of space-time continuum effect taking place yeah. because of that. I don't think you're supposed to have that much McDonald's in one day, but I don't know. Good day though. Really good day for everybody. Good day for these units too. Yep. I'll put a uh, mat right on the, the heat here. The heating pad is on you, dude. The flames are all over you. What are we doing with this video? Are we splitting them? Or are we oh, keeping them on we one? Doing? Make the call. Uh, I think we should keep it this format. Yeah, it's you fine. Know, just do day one, day two, day three. Okay. But I'm going to say I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah. Because I did not consider the X Factor 
the Steve factor. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't considering that going into this, so it's throwing me off a little bit. Well, we have another factor coming in tomorrow. We'll call that the Calvin factor. So I think he's going to be helping out both you guys, but we'll see him tomorrow too. He's got some presents for Rick as well that oh, Doug yeah, doesn't know about. Presents. Just Doug. Doug. Why is he going to like them? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Why okay, is okay. going to enjoy looking at them? We'll say that. Yeah, I think maybe we can use our boy Calvin as a floater and just uh, maybe lend a hand on both teams when it's necessary. Or we can argue about it tomorrow. That'd be fun too. So. We uh, love arguing. Right there. <laughs> no way, dude. But it's just a, it was just a really good day to just be able to sit down, or I shouldn't say sit down, to just be able to focus on working stuff, working on stuff. All yeah. Day. Like, there's a lot of stuff we do behind the scenes that makes everything come together. Today was just projects. What you saw is what we did. Like we were in the shop the whole day. It was very enjoyable. So hopefully we can do more stuff like this. Hey, more like projects, that. more stuff. What do you think? Heck yeah, rocking this stuff out. Super happy, had a ton of fun. Hope you guys really enjoyed it as well. Give us some feedback in the comments, please. And uh, yeah, we'll see you back here in a couple days. As always, huge thank you to all you guys. Ton of people to thank for this deal specifically. The, the bunch of sponsors on this deal. Livernoy coming up huge with all the engine stuff. Our buddy Tim on the turbo stuff. Uh, just, you know, Holly, Holly's in there one. with yep. a ton of awesome stuff. So thank you guys. Um, you know, the two stroke, we haven't gotten to um, a lot of the sponsor parts just yet, but we will soon. And uh, huge thank you everybody that's supporting these projects and you guys as always for subscribing, watching all the videos, donating on Patreon, buying the parts, buying the merch, buying through the Rocky Mountain Lake. You guys are absolutely killing it. Like, this is big dog stuff. We'd never be able to do it and bring these kind of parts together and these machines together to do this sort of nonsense if it wasn't for you. So huge thanks again. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. Also, remember that garage channel. Even though we're not going to focus on McMega on the garage channel right now, there's some other stuff on the garage channel that's real different and real cool and you're going to like it and that's going to continue. So Yeah, it's coming out very soon. It might already be out, dude. Oh, interesting. Okay, so head over to the garage channel. Give that sucker a subscribe too. And we'll see you guys back here in a couple of days. All right. See you. Bye. Good work today, guys. Good work. See you. Hey, give him a round of applause, Nick, right now.